January. I'm sorry, uh, but, but I feel really good. Um, I'm just with the garden. Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Developer Advocate. And I know last week I was like, I don't know if we're going to have a show because I'm going on a trip. But guess what? Because of our great cameraman and editor and all around production genius Cameron, we are here in San Francisco, California, Union Square area, giving you all the tech news you need. So let's get into it. First things first, Microsoft Build is back. The dates have officially been announced. It's going to be May 7th through 9th, 2018, and it will be held in Seattle. Um, tickets go on sale, registration starts on uh, February 15th, so be sure to check that out and register when that comes out. There's gonna be lots of great build news coming out in the coming weeks. Stay tuned right here. Next up, other events that you need to know about. On um, March 7th, 2018, Windows Developer Day is coming back. Kevin Gallo did this last year, we're doing it this year. He's gonna go through all the new stuff that Windows developers need to know about the new SDKs, new protocols, stuff shipping with the latest version of Windows. That will be streaming live at 9 a.m. PST on uh, March 7th, 2018, so tune in. Next up, this is big news, and this, is, this affects a lot of people in the Windows world. Um, progressive web apps are coming to Microsoft Edge as well as Windows 10. Now, pro, uh, progressive web apps were started by Google and really championed by them, and, and Microsoft has been championing them over the last few years, too. And the basic idea is that you can have a web app that can run on your computer, have cache, work offline. It's very cool. The cool news about the full Edge support is important because this now means you can use PWAs and Edge, but the bigger news is that it's going to be coming to Windows 10 in the Microsoft Store. And the story about how that's going to be happening is all in this blog post. Check it out. Uh, next up, uh, speaking of uh, things to kind of keep an eye on, the .NET Core 2.1 roadmap is out now. And we've got two different videos on Channel 9 that go through the entire roadmap. I really like these things because they kind of give you a sense of what's coming up, what you can expect as developers. I've also got lots of links listed in the show notes on either YouTube or Channel 9 where you can get more information about what's happening with uh, uh, .NET Core 2.1. Also in kind of, you know, the, the, the Xamarin new, uh, world, um, and so that kind of includes, dot, well, definitely includes .NET, our own CDA, Laurent Bunyan, uh, has a great blog post about implementing a simple Azure function using the Xamarin Forms client. It's a really great tutorial, all the code's on GitHub. Laurent did a great job with this. Thank you, Laurent, check it out. Um, speaking of Xamarin, um, there are some new features uh, in uh, Visual Studio for Mac where you can now wirelessly deploy your code to an iOS or tvOS device. Now, this is really cool because it means you don't have to have things connected via USB, but if you're trying to develop for the Apple TV with 4K, this is imperative because it doesn't have a USB-C port, so the only way you can deploy is, is wirelessly. But now there's stuff built into Visual Studio uh, for Mac, and you can check out the blog post that the Xamarin team put up for all the details. Other stuff in other kind of Visual Studio family news, Visual Studio Code uh, release notes for, for January 2018 are up now. Our own Brian Clark did an awesome video, as always, where he's kind of going crazy. He's got a hat on because he's cold. I'm not cold here. It feels great. There's so much new stuff in, in, in the newest release of Visual Studio Code that I can't even get into it. Some of my favorite things are around some of the Mac OS improvements. Check out the, the video, check out the release notes, and obviously check out VS Code. All right. Uh, Speaking of CDAs, uh, CDA Suze Hinton was a guest on the MS Dev Show. Now, if you are a Channel 9 follower, you might recognize the MS Dev Show because we often have their videos on our site, and it's a great podcast. Suze talks about live streaming um, code. She is a very, uh, uh, she uses Twitch all the time to basically stream code, and she talks with Jason and Carl about her process, offers tips and tricks. It's really cool. Check out the video. Thank you, Suze, for doing that. Check out that episode of the podcast. All right, next up, Scott Hanselman, who everybody is like one of his favorite devs, he has one of his other great blog posts about basically everything you want to know, breaking down how Kubernetes, containers, and orchestration works. And I was really interested in this because the reason I'm in San Francisco was to attend this Women in Machine Learning and Data Science uh, meetup. And what was so cool was that uh, uh, Microsoft's Rita Zhang gave a great presentation about using Kubernetes and machine learning and, and using it with TensorFlow. It was really cool. Um, and I learned a lot about Kubernetes in the process of her talk, but if you've been kind of interested in containers, Kubernetes orchestration, but you don't really know why you should care, read Scott's blog post because it's really great. Now it's time for my pick of the week, and I almost didn't pick this because it's a little creepy, but then I thought about it and I was like, that's exactly why I should pick this. So you might have heard about deepfake, which is using artificial intelligence to face swap stuff. 
It can be used in some pretty not great circumstances, but the reason I'm including this is because there's a video showing how a $500 used computer using DeepFape, which it uses artificial intelligence, was able to remove uh, Superman's mustache in Justice League better than a $300 million movie budget. It's kind of insane how good the tech is getting. It's also kind of creepy, but I like it. Check it out. All right, well, that does it for us this week. I'm going to enjoy the sun a little bit more. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like at the bottom. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube. We are at Microsoft Developer. And turn on notifications so you can find out about all of our other great content. And we will see you next time.